Hello and welcome. I'm Ariel Pozwolski, pre-sales engineer of Algol. Today we'll be talking about some of our accessory products. We'll be focusing on the 1202 call button and the 1203 call switch. Uh, we'll talk about their application, what applications they fit, and how we can use them to accomplish different things. So first of all, the 1202 uh, is this one here, the yellow one. The button is right now not illuminated. It does illuminate. We'll go ahead and set it up in a second and it will turn on blue. It has this insert here right, right now shows lockdown. This is a customizable insert. It's really paper behind this plastic. So this is completely customizable. And you have this little uh, yellow button here and this actually lets you cancel an active announcement or an active event, whatever way you configure. So we'll talk about different events that are available as well. Uh, and this is a 1203, this is a similar version. It accomplishes different things. Obviously it has a lot less of an emergency look on it. Um, it does not have a cancellation button as well, worth noticing it. In most cases that is not required, right? Uh, but it is interesting depending on how you want to, want to configure it. Uh, applications. Um, generally speaking, it's going to be emergency alerting. It could be something that you're using uh, as your only method of initiating the emergency alert. So you may have multiple 1202s spread around your, your, your school, your hospital, your environment, whatever it is. Um, the 1203 would serve a different application most likely it could be a hidden button under a desk it could be used as a assistance button so push this it will connect you with uh, someone to help you and you get a two-way voice pass so we'll be able to talk back and forth with that person via an 8180 ip speaker for instance which has a built-in microphone uh, very important to keep in mind, these are accessory products. They do not work on their own. They will always require connection back to a compatible device, right? So our 1202 is connected to our 8180 right now. Our 1203 is connected to our um, visual alerter. Uh, they are compatible with any Algo IP speaker, uh, our 8301 paging adapter, our visual alerters. Uh, so these are examples, of course, they can be obviously set up differently, uh, but that's what we have today. Important just to bear in mind that these are not independent devices. They get powered off their host, again, in my case, 8180 and visual order here, 8128. Um, and as far as uh, events that you can do, hop onto the web interface now to we'll see what different actions are available. There are a few, so it really depends on your use case. Uh, we use the 8180 configuration interface, the web interface for the sake of the example. It would look very, very similar uh, on a different product if you're con connecting it to an, 80, an 8301, for instance. Um, we're logged in, we are in the status page, so head over to additional features. Um, one thing that we need to address is the 8180 has, is an exception to all the other products. This has a single relay terminal that is configurable as input or output. Um, all the other products, no exceptions, everything else that has a relay on uh, and is compatible with one of these two will have a relay input or output terminal. The reason why this 1202 right now <coughs> is not yet illuminated is because the 8201 by default is set to relay output mode. So we'll go ahead and first thing in the web interface, as you can see, set it to input mode. Bear in mind, is again, exclu uh, exclusive to the 8180. You would not get an option for output or input on an 8128 and an 8186, 8188, and so on and so forth, because they have separate terminals for input and output. Uh, but once we uh, select input, we're able to select to configure the relay input mode. Um, again, the 81 is connected to the 1202, so we'll set it up to 1202 call button mode. Uh, as you can see here, there's different options uh, for different accessories that we offer or simply for a standard normally open relay, normally closed relay, if you were connecting any kind of third party device that is just looking for a dry contact closure. Uh, again, we want 1202 mode. So I'll go ahead and save it for now. We'll come back to the actions in a second, but as soon as I save it, 
you see that the light illuminates, right? So it is turned on now. Um, now we'll talk actions. Um, you have a few actions to select from and the actions might change a little bit depending on which mode your relay input is set to. But generally, you have a playtone mode, right? Of course, focusing on speakers. The equivalent to playtone mode would be uh, just fire off a visual pattern on a visual order. So playtone will play a local tone on this device. Uh, if this happens to be a multicast transmitter, it will transmit the tone to etch whichever zone you've set it up to. Uh, right now it's not, so it's just going to be local. And then you can get a few a options uh, in configurations that are specific to the play tone action, right? So is it going to play once? Is it going to play over and over? Can you cancel it? And things of that nature, right? Uh, so they're simple enough, we'll go ahead and move on to the next action, which is make SIP voice call. So this is going to do a two-way voice call. Uh, for that, you need, obviously, the device to be SIP registered. Uh, you need a target extension to dial, uh, which is going to be configured right here under extension to dial. Well, let's say I'm going to go ahead and enter uh, 218 as the uh, extension, just an example, of course. And once you push it, it would make a call out to 218, extension 218, and you have a two-way talk path. This 8180 obviously has a speaker on, as well as a microphone built in. Uh, and last but not least, uh, make SIP call with tone. Uh, this is going to also make a SIP call, so you're also required to have the device registered. You also require a target number to dial, whether it's an extension or a full uh, publicly routable DID. Um, but instead of opening up a voice path, Instead, it's going to be a one-way call. When someone answers on the other end, that person will hear a pre-recorded announcement that the, this particular device will play over the line, right? So this could be useful if you want to have a pre-recorded emergency alert. You push this device, it's going to dial uh, your first responders. It's going to dial your security desk, whatever it is, and it's going to play that announcement. And again, the announcement is also configurable. Wave or MP3 format files can easily be uploaded here. And these are the three main actions. Uh, the 1203 will offer an additional option that the 1202 mode does not offer. That is also going to be available on other modes such as relay normally open, normally closed, which is stream audio. This is going to stream audio via multicast, right? So this device is going to be a transmitter in this case. It's going to stream that one-way audio that the microphone's capturing over to a specific multicast address. Let's go ahead and do a quick test. So we'll go back to 1202 mode. We actually set it to play a tone. Uh, we'll do play once um, and we'll save it. And I'm going to push this 1202 here. Customer service is required at the Algo trade show booth. As you can see, it's doing what we expected. Again, it's not multicasting anywhere because it's not set up to. You can see it has a very tactile button, uh, nice and easy to hit. Cancel button as Customer well, so if I want to cancel, I can cancel it halfway through or any time. Maybe I want this looping over and over, right? So I want to be able to easily cancel it. Last but not least, supervision is available in certain modes and basically supervision lets you um, select an action when temper is detected. So temper would basically mean well, for whatever reason this accessory device is no longer uh, reachable. The, 80, the host device in that case, the 8180, cannot reach this device here, right? Let's say cables were severed for whatever reason, something happened, this would qualify as a, a temper and then you can pick an option uh, as to how the wiring fault supervision mode will take place, what action will take place when the tamper is detected, and so on. And last but not least, the 1203 actually does have this uh, illuminated ring as well on it. Uh, both serve similar functions, but they have very different looks, obviously. Um, hope this was useful. This summarizes our 1202, 1203, uh, accessory products, call button and switches uh, video. Thank you for watching.